Hi, you've clicked on to the Tropical Tidbit for Sunday evening, May 27th. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, consult the National Hurricane Center, your local NWS office, and your local emergency management officials for the latest information. We hear subtropical storm Alberto spinning away in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico today, and this has really done what was expected of it over the last 24 hours. This came up west of Tampa and took a turn toward the northwest this afternoon as it pinwheels around the upper level low down to its southwest, and it will likely take a turn back toward the north tomorrow morning, and landfall uh, is expected to occur somewhere between Pensacola and Panama City, Florida. In the western Florida panhandle around midday tomorrow is the current expectation. That gives this about 18 hours or so of water time left as of this video. Right now, winds peak out here at about 50 miles per hour near the center, according to the recon aircraft that was in there earlier today. Some of these orange wind barbs in the northwestern quadrant indicate those 50 mile per hour winds. Uh, near the surface, uh, the pressure is about 994 millibars and only gradually falling today. It's been pretty steady actually for the last six hours. And uh, the big limiting factor for Alberto is this uh, dry tongue of air that is now getting ingested into the core of the storm. This is something we've talked about for a couple of days and has been well forecast by the computer models and uh, has occurred this afternoon. And you can see this is really taking a punch out of the storm. It's eroded all the central convection, what little there was. The center is essentially exposed and the only deep convection around is this band to the south. And uh, the big question moving forward is whether or not the storm will now be able to mix out this dry air and now that it's gotten in will it be able to recirculate pick up new moisture off of the ocean surface and eventually re-moisten the core and generate central convection again if it can do that some additional strengthening may occur prior to landfall but 18 hours isn't a lot of time and in addition if we look at the surface obs right now I'm about to circle some black numbers around the storm. These indicate the sea surface temperatures at the surface according to this buoy to the northwest and this buoy to the southeast, and they're both at 26 degrees Celsius. This is compared to waters of 28, where it came from, and waters of 27 to 29 uh, south of Louisiana, where it could have tracked, but it's come farther east instead. And this water over this part of the Gulf is a fair bit cooler. 26 degrees Celsius can sustain the storm, but it may not allow explosive redevelopment of convection over the center. And uh, this doesn't seem like a very conducive environment for this to go bonkers before landfall. So in, uh, in my estimation, some strengthening could occur, but probably only a little bit, if any. And right now the National Hurricane Center uh, concurs with that and actually doesn't call for any change prior to landfall as of the latest advisory as of the making of this video. Uh, so this will be coming toward the shore and of course wind, uh, it will be gusty. You can see how quickly this is rotating and tropical storm uh, warnings are in effect for a portion of the Florida and Alabama coastlines. Uh, but really the, the bigger impact is probably just the rain and the storm surge that could occur in portions of the coast as the eastern side pushes water up from the south. And uh, so water related hazards uh, could impact uh, some folks, uh, given that the rivers have been overloaded a little bit with the rain from the last couple of weeks, some river flooding is possible. And in areas where rain bands uh, pass over repeatedly, flash flooding could occur in localized spots. Stay tuned to your local NWS office for details for your location to see uh, whether there are threats for your area. Uh, but all in all, this is not that strong of a storm, uh, primarily a rainmaker, uh, but it will be a gusty day tomorrow with winds possibly uh, over 50 miles per hour in some spots, especially on the beaches. All right, here's the official forecast as of 4 p.m. Central Time. Uh, again, landfall is expected uh, pretty soon tomorrow. This is the 1 p.m. Central Time uh, point, which is right on the coastline tomorrow. And uh, this is this is uh, pretty close in now, and we'll just continue north as it weakens and brings rain to most of the southeastern U.S. as it goes. You can see the tropical storm warnings up from uh, St. Petersburg to Mobile, Alabama. And uh, again, wind, not the biggest issue here, but it will be a blustery day for many and a wet day for even more tomorrow. So stay stay looking out for any potential flooding threats as communicated by your local weather service office and emergency management officials and stay safe during Alberto, the first storm of the 2018 hurricane season. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.